seeing me down here in my local pitch of dribble. Um, just fishing for chub today. I've seen a few about, just hopefully get a few. I'm just going to be roving up and down this stretch today. Just up, up there and back up that way, but mostly just around this sort of area. Um, if I don't get anything later, I'll move up stream just to the weir pool and uh, hopefully get a few chubs to show you. Alright, so just got the rod in now. Getting a few little taps, but um, nothing leading to a bite. I've just got cheese, ba cheese paste on it at the moment. So, I sprinkled in a bit of hemp as well down there. So hopefully the chub are going to be mooching around on it and take my cheese paste. It's a decent chub in this river. One of my Fred Phillips had a £4.12 ounce chub out of here. I've had a £3.01 ounce chub. But there is bigger, because we've seen bigger. Lovely chubby to show you. It's taken on the cheese paste. There we go. Nice chub. It's only about a pound, pound and a half. Lovely width across the shoulders. Lovely chub. I'm going to close the camera to show you. There he is. Massive nails on him. Gobble down that cheese paste. Uh, yeah, so put him back. Lovely job. I could get a few more like that today. Just slipping back now. It's been in the net for about 30 seconds or something. So he should be re oxygenated. There he goes. Lovely job. Get in. Right, as you just saw, I just had that uh, pound, pound and a half job. Lovely fish, you know, put up a good scrap. Um, went all under these like roots in the margins here around the trees. Um, so yeah, as I said, it was on cheese paste, it was literally just out here. Um, I'll show you my rig afterwards, simplest rig I could think of. And it obviously worked. I'm sitting in the same stretch as I was before, but I'm just around the corner here. Um, probably going to move up upstream about five minutes for trying to swim again because you know, there could be another chub laying down there so uh, give it another go for about five minutes and then move upstream a bit more see if we can get another one I've never tried up there so hopefully it will hold some surprises right so I'm in a different stretch now um, I went upstream to have a look at that new stretch I've never been to before. Didn't get anything up there, just seemed really shallow and the water was flowing quite fast. So I just went downstream to stretch that I know holds quite a few chub. Um, I was having a few taps a minute ago, but it seemed to have slowed down now. So I'm going to have a little go just up there a bit. So, um, a nice deep hole up there, there's quite a few. Overhanging bushes, undercut banks, just uh, what chub love really, so hopefully we'll get one up there. We'll give it another five minutes here, hopefully we'll get something here, but if not I'll move up there. Right, so I said I'll show you my rig, didn't get around to it, but I'm going to show you now. So now I've got five BB shots, um, straight onto the six pound main line. Uh, that just goes straight through here and just on there it's a size uh, size 10 drennan hook it's nice and sharp um, and then I'm just wrapping the cheese paste around that so really simple but effective alright so I've moved the stretch again a totally different stretch now it's about 10 minute walk away the one I was in last um, near the town centre here there are quite a few chub like to hold out. This is where Fred had his PB from, £4.12. So I'd like to get one that big. Um, just 
got my rod out against this like bush line at the back here. With cheese paste on. So I had that job on before. I've got worms but I don't seem to be working today. But I'm only in the swims for about 10 minutes because on these sort of small streams, small river sort of things. Um, if the chub's there, it's going to take it within five to ten minutes, really. So I'm trying to move about a bit, cover as much of the river as I can. Hopefully, get a few more chub. There's a weir pool just down there. I'm going to try in a minute. Probably do some trotting soon as well. But I've only got about an hour left of the session, so I'm hoping to get at least one more chub. That'd be nice. There they are. Another stunner from River Green. There he is. This one's uh, about a pound, this one did it. I did quite a lot actually. A bit bigger than the last one, didn't look that big, but as you can see it, it is. Lovely wet across the shoulders. Chub number two, lovely. I must have hooked this fish about three times or so. Lost it, well it could have been a different fish, but I think it was probably this one, but stunning chub. Alright, I'm just gonna see this one back now. Into the net. <laughs> Where is he? Gone. Right, so I've arrived at what's going to have to be the last one of the day. Um, I've had a good session. Had two nice one pound chub, or one and a half pound chub. Not, not the biggest size, but quite good considering I've blanked the last two sessions over here, so quite chuffed with that. Um, on my next video will probably be down here again, probably next weekend, unless I'm doing carp fishing or something. But I'll have a video up within a couple of weeks. Um, tight lines from me and see you in the next video.